In this training video, we're going to look at using task panes and the size and position feature. This is very useful for trying to maintain the same size for all your shapes or selected shapes. So for here, for example, we've got a governance level. This is called a swim lane. And I've got a middle one for operations and another one for finance. Now I'd like all of these to be the same. So I can, I can find the measurement by clicking on the relevant swim lane. In this case, government level. I've just clicked on the words governance level and it's got a gray border around it. Now I can go to the view tab, and go to the task panes in the show section of the ribbon and I can choose the option called size and position. So it tells me the height is 41 millimeters. Now that all three of them will have the same width because the width has gone on right across the page, but what they might not have is the same height. So the top one's got 41 millimeters. Second one's got 45, I can see it here. And the third one by clicking on it, it's got 48.65. So if I wanted to stretch the swim lanes across the page, I can, in this example, I'm gonna make them all 47. So I've clicked on the first one. I'm just gonna type in 47. I'm going to do the same for the second one. And all I'm doing is typing and entering. And same for the third one. Now if I wanted to check the height and all three of them now. First one is 47 millimeters. Second one is 47 millimeters. And third one is also 47 millimeters. So if you wanted to maintain something like this whereby each of the sizes is the same, you can then use this kind of approach. So this now has looked at, in this video, the ability to resize, and this can be done from the width, the height, the X and the Y position for some shapes. And you've got a lot of option in this size and position box. All I've used here is the height, but there's, there's other ways you could try and ch change the measurements. But this has looked at three different swim lanes and we've got them all now the same height. Now this completes the training video in this example on using task panes and the size and position option. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. Hope to see you for the next tutorial and thanks for watching.